Hi everyone, my name is Emily and today's video is all about stretching and lengthening our side body. So we're going to stretch all along the right and left side of our bodies and also work on strengthening our obliques, so working a bit into our core. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we're going to get started um, in a tabletop position. So it's coming onto your hands and knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide, knees directly underneath the hips. We're gonna just find a few cat and cows to start off. So take a nice big breath in, drop the belly, chest comes forward. And then exhale to round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, drop your belly, gazing forward. And exhale, round the spine, drop the head. One more time here, inhale for your cow. And exhale for your cat. And then finding a neutral spine, we're going to do a little side stretch here. So looking towards your left ankle over your left shoulder. And then inhale, switching sides. Coming back towards the left. And then finding your right ankle. Coming it, bringing it back to center, we're going to come into a modified half moon. So you're gonna send your right foot over towards the right edge of your mat, making yourself a little kickstand. Plant that right palm into the mat. We're gonna peel that left arm up towards the ceiling, stacking your left shoulder on top of the right. Either just stay right here, or you can lift that back leg up. So really strengthening here. This may be a bit more difficult to balance than it looks. And then if you wanna take it a little farther, maybe start to stretch and lengthen here. So stretching that left arm all the way forward, making one long line with your body. And then exhale, slowly lower back down. Then we're gonna come on to the other side. So bring that left foot over to the left edge of your mat, planting that left hand. Inhale, reach that right arm high. Maybe that right foot comes up. And then perhaps lengthening that right arm all the way forward, making that long line, really reaching, finding length. And then exhale to release, coming back to your table. Take another cat, few cat cows or any other movements that you like. Maybe moving the hips forward and back. And then we're gonna come into our downward dog. So curling the toes, lift the tailbone up and back. Take a couple of breaths here, just lengthening through the spine and bringing each, each heel towards the mat. And then nice and slowly walking your hands, or walking your feet forward, coming into a forward fold. Bending the knees a lot, releasing the head, neck and shoulders. And then we're gonna to inhale to a halfway lift. Hands to shins, finding length through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale, rise up high. Exhale, heart center. Then we're gonna reach the arms overhead. Hold on to your left wrist with your right hand. Ground down into both feet and inhale to get really long here. And then on your exhale, start to hinge over towards the right. Nice lengthening and stretching along that left side. Exhale to come back to center and then switch sides. Hold that right wrist Inhale to get really long. Exhale, start to come over to the left. 
Big breath in, long breath out. Inhale back to center, exhale, hands to heart center, and then start to hinge all the way forward. Coming back to your forward fold, inhale to your half lift, exhale, fold. Send that, actually we'll do the left leg back, Plant that left hand, reach that right arm up for a twist. Now begin to take that right arm, bring it forward past the top of your mat. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right leg. Spin the back toes towards the left and then inhale that left arm up towards the ceiling. You may want to bring your right elbow to your right thigh, reaching up for your side angle pose. From here, inhale to your warrior two. And then flip the front palm, inhale, exalted warrior. Reach that right arm high to the sky. Nice big stretch along your right side. And exhale back to your side angle. This time reach that left arm all the way overhead towards the front. Inhale back to your warrior two. And then exhale to cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot, stepping back to your high plank. We'll come down to our forearms. So finding forearm plank here. Option to drop the knees as always if you need to. And then we're going to come into a side plank. So you're going to bring your, your left hand towards the right. So your forearm is on an angle. Inhale that right arm high to the sky. Option here to have your knees, sorry, option here to have your feet stacked one in front of the other, or maybe drop that bottom knee. From here, inhale to reach up. Exhale, bring that right hand just underneath your left side for a little twist here, working those obliques. Inhale to come back up. Exhale to twist. Inhale up, last time, twisting here. Inhale, reach up high and exhale. Find your forearm plank once again. Make your way back to your downward dog. And then walk up to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale to your half lift, exhale, fold. We're gonna send the right leg back this time. Right hand plants down, left arm comes up for your twist. Then reaching that left arm all the way forward, bring it to the inside of that left foot, spinning the back toes, begin to reach that right arm up. You can bring your left elbow to your left thigh. Finding your side angle. Inhaling up to warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale, exalted warrior. Left arm all the way up towards the ceiling, nice big side stretch. And then exhale back to your side angle, this time reach the right arm forward, to just over your head. Inhale back up, warrior two. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step it back, high plank. Option to take it down to your knees, coming onto your forearm plank. And then bring your right hand towards the left. And then coming onto your side forearm plank here. Lifting those hips up high, modifying the pose as you need to. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sweep that left arm down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, last time, reach it up. Exhale, swoop it down. 
And then coming back up and finding your regular forearm plank. Take three breaths here. And then exhale, slowly come down, relax the hips down. We're gonna just come into our Sphinx pose from here. So forearms pressing into the mat, forearms are parallel to one another. Elbows just underneath the shoulders. Melting your heart forward. Just keeping the neck nice and long, looking towards the front of your mat. And then finally, we'll lower all the way down. Just coming onto our belly, resting your right ear to the mat. Letting it all go. Then bringing your left ear to the mat just to even out the stretch on your neck. Take a few big belly breaths, letting your belly press into the mat. Feel free to rest here for as long as you like. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, give a thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time. Namaste.